Hello again, everyone. Marcus here. I review stuff today. I'm reviewing the song Fashion by David Bowie. This is part of my ongoing series where I'm listening to songs that come from albums that are on Rolling Stone magazine's list of the 500 greatest albums of all time. This particular song is on the album Scary Monsters and Super Creeps by David Bowie, uh, which is number 443 on the list. The way the series works is I'll do reaction videos for two and eh, sometimes three um, songs from each album, and then I'll go and listen to the rest of the album on my own. Eventually I'll come back and let you know what I thought. So um, this is actually going to be the second song that I've heard from the album, uh, the first being Ashes to Ashes, which I liked a lot, a whole lot. So hoping I like this one as well. Let's go ahead and jump into it again. This is Fashion, David Bowie. Here we go.
you know i like that one a whole lot too <laughs> that was a great song um i had a great time listening to it yeah that was great um so let's break it down piece by piece like we always do of course starting with the lyrics let's take a look it does say here i want to read a little bit more about the song itself uh, fashion is Bowie's commentary on the New York Romanticism fashion movements in early 80s UK. Bowie himself served as a major influence for them due to his former flamboyant personas, Ziggy Stardust, uh, Halloween Jack, etc. But now that he's moved past that era, he sees these movements for what they really are, a conformist, mainstream, practically meaningless trend. He also makes a slight, he also makes a slight jab at Gary Newman's successful single, Cars. He was seen by many as a leader in new romanticism by putting beep beep in the chorus. <laughs> Which I, I liked, I kind of, I thought it was kind of cute. I thought it added like uh, some some fun to the song you know uh, not that the song was fun uh, not fun on its own but like uh, it was a fun song anyway let's read those lyrics uh so there's a brand new dance but i don't know its name that people from bad homes do again and again it's big and it's bland full of tension and fear they do it over there but we don't do it here fashion turns to the left fashion turns to the right oh fashion we are the goon squad and we're coming to town beep beep uh, listen to me, don't listen to me, talk to me, don't talk to me, dance with me, don't dance with me, no beep beep. So I'm wondering if it's like this sort of, it, to me it sounds like he, he's sort of railing against this sort of idea of kind of being stuck up, right? Because you're maybe this fashion influencer or what have you. Um, <clears throat> but at the end of the day, it's big, kind of big and bland and full of tension. Um, but the part where he says like, uh, we are the goon squad and we're coming to town where we sort of have this sort of cultural wave that kind of takes over. Right. Um, but then you have these people who are like, listen to me as in like buy my products and, and follow me and worship me and do all the things that I do. And, and, you know, that kind of thing. But at the same time, like don't interact with me. I don't want to hear from you. I don't know. That's kind of how I'm reading this part here. Uh, there's a brand new talk, but it's not very clear that people from good homes are talking this year. It's loud and it's tasteless, and I've heard it before. You you shout it while you're dancing on the dance floor. Oh, bop, fashion. Fashion turns to the left, fashion right. Fashion, we are the goon squad, and we're coming to town. Beep, beep. Um, listen to me, don't listen to me. Talk to me, don't talk to me. Dance with me, don't dance with me. No, beep, beep. Oh, bop, do, 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 fa, 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 fashion. Kind of goes on like that for some time. You know, lyrically, I think there, there's a lot of, you know, little little sounds and little onomatopoeias and beep beeps, you know. Uh, but that made it just really, really fun um, to listen to. It's interesting in verse one how he talks about the people from Bad Homes doing this dance, right? Um, and then there's this brand new talk, but it's not very clear that people from good homes are talking this year. So I think it's interesting that he says like th these these fashion things, these taught that you know maybe this this slang or this this way of, of living is just kind of like uh, only popular amongst vapid people. But uh, at least they're talking, I guess, is what I would get from this. But that's just me. Um, Anyway, lyrically, I thought it was, uh, again, it's kind of on the, on the simpler side in, in, for parts of it, but I think it was still very well written and kind of just fun to listen to. Give it a thumb up lyrically. As far as instrumentation and vocals go, love, again, Bowie's approach here vocally. I thought, again, he brought a lot of life to it. He might have been trying to be facetious uh, with the beep beeps and stuff like that, right? But I, again, I, I just think it added a nice, fun element to the song. Um, lyrically, I, I mean, uh, sorry, vocally, I just thought it was a, it was a fun song to kind of sing along to, right? Um, and then instrumentally, there was just so much that I really liked here. I thought the drumming was nice and kinetic and fun. The guitar work I thought was excellent. Um, again, some very like experimental uh, sounds in there that that kind of catch your ear and you're like, oh, okay, like you know, doing something a little bit different. I like it. Uh, throwing some like filters and 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 uh, and just different like things on onto your uh, your guitar work. I, there's a word I'm missing for it, but you, you get what I'm saying. It was just it was fun. So uh, with that, I'm giving it two big thumbs up for instrumentation and vocals. I really had a good time listening to that one. <clears throat> as far as replay value goes, yeah, I think this one makes the playlist pretty easy. I mentioned in my last video that for me, David Bowie has always been <clears throat> kind of hit or miss. Um, 
Uh, there's a lot of songs I like from him, but there's some other ones that I'm like, uh, you know, I, I just uh, I don't appreciate them maybe as much as some other people do. But I think the last two songs with this and Ashes to Ashes, I've just really, really enjoyed it. So uh, it's hitting the playlist for sure. I'm giving it two big thumbs up uh, for replay value. Overall, a fantastic song. Another great entry into this series. Hey, if you enjoyed the music as much as I did, go support the artists. Go listen to their music wherever you can. I know David Bowie's no longer with us, but, you know, it's still great to show support for your favorite artists. So, uh, on top of that, if you enjoyed what you saw here today on the channel, just consider doing all the, all the normal stuff you do on YouTube. You know, like and subscribe and comment, uh, turn on notifications, all that good stuff. So, you can even check the description to follow me on Twitch, TikTok, or Instagram. Not that I post uh, at those places a whole lot, but you know, <laughs> you can still follow me. So, uh, hey guys, that's going to be it for me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now. And here's where I stop the video. Bye for now.